Welcome to Church of the Chair, where the sparrows are flying again. I'm your host, E, and today we're talking about psychopathic supernatural pseudonyms. A word of warning before we continue. This series has spoilers for all of Stephen King's work. If you have not read all of his books, I suggest you click away now. You've been warned. Today, we're talking about The Dark Half by Stephen King. Now, let's see what my twinner has to say about this book. I believe that George Stark and Thad Beaumont are twinners. Somehow, through a thinny, some way, George Stark ends up coming through into this into this world, um, and he's brought in by the by the scene where they bury the pin name. Now I'm not a hundred percent sure that I agree with him. The more I think about it, the more I don't like the idea. But then we had this comment. You can pause to read. Now, do I believe that George Stark was buried in the pet cemetery? No, that doesn't really hold water. But I do find it interesting that both books, both Pet Cemetery and The Dark Half, take place in Ludlow, Maine. So maybe we're dealing with something like the presence or the ship, sorry, in Tommyknockers, where the pet cemetery, the not radiation, but maybe its effect has grown over time, or maybe it's always had a wider area of effect and no one ever figured it out. Then we have another comment mentioning that they both take place in the same town, along with some other connections, some I mentioned in the original video and some I didn't. Again, you can pause to read. And just to confirm, yes, Alan Pangborn George Bannerman, both Castle Rock sheriffs, George Bannerman of course died in Cujo, and Alan Pangbor took over, and we see more of him in Needful Things, and of course, yes, Juniper, I always want to say Jupiter, Juniper Asylum is mentioned in this one, and quite a few books in the future. And finally, we have a comment from one of my longest subscribers, Pierce, uh, I really appreciate you hanging around all this time. You've been here almost since the beginning, and I appreciate you. But he had this to say, which I find very interesting. Now, come see the crocodiles or the living crocodiles is a is a thing in our real world, of course. It's how certain attractions got people to come in. It was the threat of danger or see something up close that would normally kill you if you got close to it in the wild. But I do like this connection mainly because I never caught it. And since they both say the exact same words, I'm going to add it as a connection. And in case you ever see Pierce call me trash or trash can man, or trash bag man. Uh, the reason for that is not a reference to the stand, um, and don't give him any flack. Uh, the reason that came about is because my local library would have a dollar a bag book sale, and they wouldn't limit what size bag you would bring. Of course, Pierce has been around forever, so he knows this, and I would literally take a trash bag with me and get 40 to 50 books for a dollar. Don't worry, I also donate to my local library, so I'm not ripping them off. I just found it funny, you know, and a loophole that I could get away with. But thanks again, Pierce, for the comment and your support. But that's all the time I have for you today. If I missed anything, if you'd like to offer any corrections of anything I said in this video, or if you have theories that you've come up with on your own, let me know down there in the comments. But until next time, RIP George Stark, 1975 to 1988. Not a very nice guy. All hail the chair.